Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to save the tally data in Google Drive. As you know, tally data is backbone for any company. If the tally data corrupt due to system failure, operating system failure, or due to virus, then this company will be in the big trouble. So in this video, we are going to install tally and move the tally data storage to Google Drive, which automatically sync the real time data over the cloud. So let's get into the video without any further delay. Oh, I just forget to mention that as a prerequisite, you must have Google Drive install and configure in your system. And if you want to know how to install and configure Google Drive in your system, you can check uh, the link description below. So uh, let's get into the video to install this tally. So what we will do is first we'll go to uh, tally uh, web site. So on Google, just type the tally server and uh, you can just type tally and you can, it will take you to the tally uh, site link. Go to the site link and then you can see this tally uh, prime, which is the latest one. So I'm downloading the latest tally. Uh, this is a real uh, release 4.0. So it's downloaded now and now we are going to run this one. So uh, this is all the default installation, nothing to uh, uh, nothing fancy about the installation. So just follow the default link here. This is all default installation uh, process. They're not going to change anything in, during the uh, installation. So you can see here and now the installation is uh, going on. So this is see you can see this install and it's asking for the start tally prime. So I would um, just click on the start and see it's starting now. So it's uh, getting started and we can wait for a few seconds and it says it's asking about some application a startup. So here also uh, we select as accept as a default option. No changes here as well. So just click on accept. And this will allow you to move you to the next page. And here, as you can see here, since uh, I do not have a license and this video is going to be the educational video, so I would proceed with try with the uh, educational mode here. So I would select uh, to go to uh, try the educational uh, mode. And if you have a license, you can go with the licensing mode. The process is exactly same uh, with, with uh, the educational mode and the, uh, and the license mode. So here you can see here, uh, the data path is still showing that the C, which is again a risky one, right? If your system got failure due to uh, operating system issue, or even your backup is on, on, on your external drive, no one can guarantee that when it's going to fail, right? Because every hardware have their MTB mean time between failure. So, or due to maybe some software update, uh, your system may got corrupt, right? And the, you know the C drive is the first drive which we inst format and install the operating system on it. On it. So uh, even though in a D drive also, if the system hardware crash, uh, C drive or D drive anywhere, E drive, if the system crash, no one again is going to help you. So so what we will do is you can see here uh, it is in C drive. So we'll first go and uh, change our drive. So I'm going to change that C drive to our um, cloud drive. So let's see. Okay, so let's set the data path. So for that, we have to go to data. So you can press Y uh, on it, or you can just, you can hover the mouse, mouse to uh, data and you can select the data path. And here you can see the data path is C users, right? So now uh, what we will do is we will. Uh, so before that, let me show you this uh, Google Drive uh, drive on my system. You can see here the Google Drive is a G drive in my system, right? That's the reason I recommended you to first go install uh, the tally, uh, sorry, uh, Google Drive in your system and then you come back to this video. So you can see now first we will do is we will we'll create a folder called tally data uh, over to my Google Drive. So as you can see here, I created the tally data and then I copied the link from it. And then what I did is uh, I just come back to my tally and then I'll just add those link over here in the data path. Oops, it's, the, it's, it's a misspelled. So uh, right, let me write uh, the correct one. 
just let me the yeah. and then the backup path also and the same same link we will do yeah done so this is done so what we will do is um, so this is this part is done so now we have moved our tally data to google drive so here it's not showing anything because we have not created any uh, company or no, anything so what we will do uh, just for a testing purpose what we will do is we will create a, a demo demo company here so i have created a abc limited and these all the data are random data and this is our uh, default data i would say because this is all going to be the uh, educational video okay so just accept this uh, default values and uh, it's creating the company and again it's asking for some default data default values so i am going with the default one nothing fancy here so after giving all the detail i just clicked and uh, selected on accept and this will finally create one company you can see here abc limited now when i go back to uh, my google drive tally data you can see here this folder uh, is created right this is the first folder of your company right this is start from 1000 so this is what is created and you can see this all this tally default data over here and now i am sure i'm let me show you the very interesting thing you can see there is a small cloud icon over here that means it's uploading or syncing the data over to the the cloud so let me show you uh, if you go back to uh, taskbar on the right corner and you can see the google drive icon here if you click on on the icon here you can see here this all are tick mark right the green tick mark that means it's immediately friends it's immediately sync the data on the cloud that means even uh, your uh, even uh, you in no time it will up, uh, update the your data so that means you can you can say your data integrity or security purpose uh, you can you can uh, utilize the google drive for your data backup purposes so um, that's it for today's videos if you want to know more about anything related to the cloud or any storage related uh, cloud storage related information put me into uh, uh, your request into the comment box and i will look into this uh, this request and let you know so thank you very much for watching my videos guys see you in the next one See you. Bye-bye.